Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you six foundations that I feel like are worth every penny. So I've been doing this kind of a series for a couple of years now on my channel where I choose a category and I kind of refresh you guys or update you on my top products in whatever category. Um, I've created a playlist actually that has all of the videos that I've made so far and this one will also be added to that playlist. So if you wanna see other categories, both high-end and drugstore full of products that I would recommend to you guys, I will have the playlist linked down below. But today I wanted to talk about six foundations that are high-end. You guys know how much I absolutely love the drugstore. I have so many drugstore recommendations, so many drugstore foundation recommendations as well. But with that being said, over the years I've tried out so many different foundations, both from the drugstore and also from places like Sephora and Ulta, and I wanted to gather my top six high-end foundations because I feel like there are occasions and there are people out there that really do like to splurge on complexion products, myself being one of those people. Of course I love the drugstore, but I also really feel like there are certain occasions or certain moments where I do want to wear a more high-end foundation because it makes me feel special or maybe it looks really great in photographs, maybe it wears really well. So I'm going to share with you guys my personal top six foundations that are high-end that I feel like honestly are worth every single penny and that I have gotten so much use out of. So let's just get right into it. These aren't in any particular order. I love all of these equally, but I will explain to you what occasions I like to use these for and what I like exactly about each foundation. All right, I'm going to start off with this one right here. This is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation. I wear the shade Fair Light and one of the reasons why I love this foundation so much is because it's extremely travel friendly. I love the packaging on this. The doe foot applicator in here makes it really mess free so you're able to just dot the foundation all over the skin and you don't have to use your fingertips if you're on the road or on the go. The thing I love most about this foundation is the way that it wears on my skin. Every single time that I wear this on the face I am so shocked at how beautiful it looks by the end of the day. It's almost one of those foundations that when you first apply it, it feels almost like any foundation in the sense that there's not too much of a special finish or anything super memorable upon application. But trust me when I say when you wear this throughout the day, you will be absolutely floored at how beautiful it stays on the skin. As it warms up on my face throughout the day, I feel like my natural oils come through, but it never ever looks too oily or greasy. I've worn this all over the face and then set the entire face with powder. I've worn it all over the face and then set just certain areas with powder and it wears beautifully both ways. This is actually one of the foundations that I'm wearing today. I mixed two because I couldn't choose between the two that I wanted to wear today. So I just mix them, but this is one that I have all over my face along with another one. And you guys have probably seen me talk about it several times here on my channel. I always seem to travel with this. It's just a really, really beautiful go-to foundation. So I knew I had to share that with you. The second foundation is one that took me a while to fall in love with completely, just because the application is a little bit unique on this particular foundation. So this is the Dior Airbrush Spray Foundation. So it is an actual aerosol can. So for me, it took me a while to figure out how exactly I wanted to use this because online, like they tell you to spray it directly on the skin. But for me personally, I like to just give this a shake, spray it directly on my foundation brush, like away from myself. And then I just kind of stipple and buff the foundation into the skin. This is a very thin formula, but it's very high pigment and high coverage, which means that you're gonna get a flawless finish without it looking or feeling cakey on the skin. This is also a foundation that I love to travel with, even though the packaging is not as travel friendly. You can see I've kind of dented this bottle pretty bad since I take it with me for every event. But this is also one of my favorite foundations to wear during events. Every single time that I am photographed in this foundation, my skin looks amazing, I can really count on it. And it's also another foundation that I enjoy mixing into other favorites. I don't know why, but this has become kind of a go-to mix-in foundation for me. Not for any reason, but I don't know, I just feel like when I mix it into other foundations, it makes it wear a little bit longer, it makes the pigmentation there, and it also kind of thins out any formula because of the thinner formula that this has. So I feel like it kind of airbrushifies any other foundation as well if I were to combine it. But it is a beautiful foundation on its own. It looks amazing in photographs. It does take a minute to get used to as far as application goes because again, the aerosol, but I have noticed that this wears incredibly well on my skin and it's just a really, really great foundation. It's worth every penny and it is a little bit more pricey up front because it is Dior, but you guys, I've used this so many times and I still have so much left in here. So a little bit really does go a long way, which is another reason why I feel like this is worth every penny. 
All right, so another favorite foundation of mine is from Laura Mercier. I feel like Laura Mercier really creates such stunning complexion products. I have been photographed in Laura Mercier foundations and powders countless times because actually one time I was in New York at a Laura Mercier event and I decided to wear all Laura Mercier because I don't know, I was just feeling like wearing all of my favorites to the event since it was put on by Laura Mercier, obviously. And at the event, I was photographed with flash and we got the pictures back and I was shocked at how incredible my makeup looked. And ever since that event, I trusted this foundation to perform well on my skin, to wear beautifully on my skin, and to photograph extremely flawlessly. It's wild. And I was photographed with flash, by the way. So with a harsh flash photography, it looked so beautiful on the skin, which means in any other photography and in person, it also looks gorgeous. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. Now they came out with a more glowy version of this. I actually prefer this one over that. This one also took a minute for me to get used to. I think when I first tried it, I applied way too much. So you definitely don't need very much when it comes to this foundation. A little bit goes a long way. It's kind of the same where it's extremely high pigment, but it's not as thin as the Dior formula. Be sure to blend it out really well. And also it dries down extremely fast. So work in sections on the skin. And if you do that, I promise you it's going to look so beautiful. I like to apply this with a brush and then follow it up with a sponge. I feel like I get the best application that way, but again, it's important to work quickly, so I prefer to work in sections and just slowly build up the coverage. I just realized I wanted to share with you the shades that I wear in all the foundations just as a reference. So I wear the shade 201 in the Dior Air Flash foundation, and then this is 1W1 Ivory. However, I do feel like this is slightly too yellow for me, so I got shade matched for this foundation. I just haven't picked up a new one yet, so I will list down below the exact shade that matches me. I just haven't picked it up, but this one works, and this is the one that I wore when I was photographed and it still looks nice, but for the daytime and under certain lightings, I really do feel like there's another undertone that's a little bit more neutral that would look exactly like my skin tone, but this is a pretty close match. Also, this is nice packaging. It's a glass bottle with a pump. You can see how much I love it. I should have cleaned that before showing you, but that's that. And this is an amazing foundation for so many different reasons. Okay, next up is a foundation that I've worn for so many years, and I know so many people who have also worn this for so many years. It's actually a powder foundation. The Bare Minerals Original Foundation is seriously such a ride or die product in my collection. This has carried me through so many skin situations. I kid you not, like I wear this when I'm traveling. If I need a really quick, smooth, radiant base, this is honestly my go-to. If I have blemishes, this is my go-to. If I want something that's clean for my skin, this is my go-to. It has so many great benefits and I feel like so many people are afraid of this because it is a powder, but if you take the time to really warm up the product in the cap with the brush. And then again, if you really take the time to sit and buff this into the skin, it melts into your complexion and it looks like a liquid, but it doesn't budge like a liquid. It's the best of both worlds and it doesn't have a flat finish to it. It actually has a really nice, pretty glow to it. The shade that I wear is Fairly Light 03 and I am in love with this. I've gone through so many of these. This is another one of those things that I always pack with me when I travel, like always, because there are certain occasions and certain days where I I lean on my Bare Minerals Original Foundation. It's just reliable, I love how it looks, I love the coverage that it gives, which is something I should point out actually, and it's a theme that you'll notice in all of these foundations. I do have problematic skin. I have acne prone skin. I've struggled with acne for like a decade now, so whether I have active breakouts or I have hyperpigmentation left over, I personally do look for a more full coverage foundation. But with that being said, I still like my skin to look like skin, so that is what I find in all of these foundations that I'm gonna share with you today. You get the coverage, but you don't get cakiness if you're careful with the amount that you apply. That's very important with some of these foundations, but with the Bare Minerals one, I really feel like a little goes a long way, but you can also build up over problem areas and it never looks like too much, even though it is a powder. So I knew I was gonna mention that one to you guys. This next foundation is probably my first true love as far as a high-end liquid foundation goes. I remember going to the Estee Lauder counter and getting a sample of this, which was recommended to me by the lady at the counter. Um, I had expressed to her again that I have acne prone skin and that I like full coverage, but I still like my skin to look like skin. At the time I was struggling with a lot of texture as well, so I didn't want anything too dewy. I've kind of moved away from super matte foundations now that I feel like my texture is improved. I mean, you can still see I have blemishes all over, but it's improved a lot since 
a couple of years ago. Anyway, I tried out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is the original foundation. I still remember the first day that I decided to try out that foundation and I looked in the mirror like seven hours into wearing it and I was shocked that it looked the exact same as when I applied it. So this is definitely a more full coverage, more matte finish foundation, but it is so stunning, you guys. If you're looking for something that's going to airbrush your skin and last like nothing else, this is where you should look. This is definitely one of my top foundations and it has been for years and years and years. I do feel like it's also versatile. If you're somebody that kind of fluctuates with your skin like me, then you can use this on days where you have more problematic areas and you can use a little bit more, or you can thin it out either by using less or by mixing it into a moisturizer or something like that, and you'll still get the same long wear effects and you'll still get some good coverage out of it too. This is such a beautiful foundation. I just wish that they would finally cave and sell it with a pump because this is so messy and it actually makes me use more than I need to sometimes, which I don't always like. So that is a con about the foundation. Other than that, I love it. My shade is 2N1 Desert Beige. This will always be in my collection. I love Estee Lauder foundations. They just launched a new one that I really wanna try and I'm sad because I think they discontinued my other favorite foundation from them. So I'm wanting to try the new one in hopes that it replaces the old one, which was like the Hydra Fresh foundation. I loved that one. It was basically like a more natural version of this, but you still got the longevity. So anyway, Estee Lauder makes great foundations and this has definitely been a staple of mine and and it will continue to be a staple of mine forever. I'm convinced it will never leave my collection. All right, last but not least is definitely the most recent foundation to me, and it's also the most recent go-to of mine. Okay, how do I explain that? Like, basically this has been what I've been reaching for on a daily basis as far as high-end foundations go. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation, and I did an entire review, well, not really a review, I guess I did like a demo of this foundation because this is the only foundation, or one of the only ones, that I can wear without powder. This is actually the foundation that I combined with my Wander Beauty, and that's what I've got all over the skin. I love how it looks on the skin. I do not have to set this with powder, and it lasts all day long. I don't know how it works, but it does. I definitely do set the T-zone quite a bit because I do tend to get oily there, but today I left the perimeters of the face untouched with powder, and I just feel like it gives a really nice glow. I love this because it's also full coverage, but it looks very natural on the skin. Every single time I wear this, I get loads of compliments, and everyone says, oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing, not your makeup looks amazing, or what foundation are you wearing, which I think is something that I always pay attention to because obviously if I'm like in full glam, I'm not trying trying to hide the fact that I have makeup on, but it's always really something for me to pay attention to when somebody says your skin looks amazing. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna keep wearing this foundation. And that always happens when I wear this foundation right here. I wear the shade 108 Light, and this is actually a foundation that I received in PR. I tried once, I used a ton of powder and I just kind of used it how I would use any other foundation and it felt really heavy on the skin so I kind of pushed it to the side as my video and photography kind of foundation when I need super super full coverage but then I tried it with no powder and it has become like an everyday staple for me. I really love that about this foundation the fact that you can wear it on no makeup makeup days and it will still look like skin if you use just like a half a pump to one pump a little bit goes a long way or you can build it up to make it look super glam and your skin always looks good so and this also has a glass bottle with a pump so I tend to travel with all six of these foundations believe it or not obviously there's certain occasions where I do not need to bring all six foundations I like to pack options though so I have brought all six before but I thought I would share those with you guys because I know so many people are always asking me what foundation they should wear that would look good in photography or what foundation they should wear on their wedding day things like that and these are definitely the products that I personally feel like I would recommend to you guys especially if you have my skin type and especially if you look for these types of foundations obviously foundation is something that does not work for everybody because we all have different preferences we all have different skin types but again if you're somebody who has normal combination skin like me and you like a little bit more full coverage if you have pigmentation to cover these should be the ones that you check out first all right you guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i always love filming these types of top product videos because the hopes is that it will help you when you're looking for certain products if you've run out of something that you can always refer to the playlist that i'm creating and building over time and that my recommendations will hopefully help you guys find the product that you're looking for if you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the
the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Thanks again to all of you guys who always come back and watch my videos. It means the world to me. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!